Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video and another Bafeng radio. Now I'll be honest straight up from the start now this radio has bad emissions on 2 meters but on 1.25 meters and 70 centimeters it's actually not too bad and it's quite usable. Now I'll show you later in the video the results on the Spectrum Analyzer so therefore I'm not going to be going into too much depth on this radio and I'll tell you why later. Now one of the most noticeable features of this radio is the actual size. Now I'm not entirely sure why it's been made so large, but I guess maybe they're going for a military style look, especially with that kind of gooseneck included antenna. Now you get all the usual accessories in the box and you'll be pleased to know, if you like this radio of course, that the battery can be recharged using a USB cable and of course a wall adapter or any device like a computer or USB power bank. The included gooseneck antenna does actually feel quite good quality. Not sure if it was made by Bayafeng, but it even performs quite well when tested with some of the local repeaters. Now, incidentally, this radio does appear on the Bayafeng website, unlike some of the other supposedly Bayafeng radios that we've seen in the past. So does that actually mean that it's made by them? Who knows? The included battery is supposed to be a 2800 milliamp hour battery at a voltage of 7.2 volts. Now it's quite large and it reminds me of those really old mobile phone batteries that we used to have back a few decades ago. The radio does actually have quite a decent feel to it though. It's quite heavy compared to those other smaller radios. Now the keypad is quite nice. It feels nice to touch when pressing those buttons. Down the right side of the radio, we have the speaker mic socket, which also allows the programming cable connection. Down the left side, we have the PTT and some other function buttons, which enable or disable squelch or enables the WX channels and so forth. The menu system is extremely similar to others that we've seen with all regular features. Now this radio does support having memories on one VFO and then regular free tuning on the other at the same time. Now, some radios that we've seen only allow you to be either in VFO or actually memory mode. So it's nice to see you can choose between each one. As a comparison to size, here's the Quangsheng. And as you can see, it's almost double the size of the Quangsheng. So it is definitely quite a large radio. Now, power output is supposed to be 10 watts according to the specification. And surprisingly, we're actually seeing 9 watts output on the 2 meter band with the power level set to high and a fully charged battery. Now up on the middle of the 70 centimeter band at 435 megahertz, we see an output power of around four and a half watts, and that's less than half of that specified power level. PMR at 446 is also possible, but illegal to use here in the UK on those frequencies, especially with a power output of four and a half watts. 220 megahertz or the 1.25 meter band, an output power of just over four watts is also observed. Now this isn't a supported band in the UK and I wasn't able to perform any real tests on this band because well, nobody else is talking on it here. Now programming the UV25 can be achieved by using Chirp and by selecting the Burfang UV17 Pro model. Uploading and downloading seem to work perfectly with no issues. And the great feature about Chirp is that you can import your local repeaters by the inbuilt repeater book feature. Now Chirp always has my vote for programming radios. So if you haven't tried it before, go and grab yourself a copy off the internet. It's free to download and it supports multiple operating systems. The transmitted audio, however, in my opinion, it does sound pretty good when received using my SDR receiver. Now, even on another radio close by, it sounded quite good. This is uh, M0 DQW, Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey, testing the audio on the Bafing UV25. This is uh, M0 DQW, testing the audio on the Bafing UV25. M0 DQW, over. The internal speak on the UV25 is also quite good, although I can't really demonstrate that on video. Now, hooking up the UV25 to a spectrum analyzer, instantly shows us that this radio is totally unusable on the two meter band. Well, legally that is. Of course, you can go ahead and transmit because it does transmit there, but it also transmits elsewhere with more power than it should. As you can see, the second harmonic is only around 10 dB down from that fundamental. 
Now that's quite shocking really, but not unexpected from these cheap Chinese radios. Now I have no idea why they cannot fix this. Surely it can't be that hard to do. Let me know down in the comments why you think we see all these cheap Chinese radios coming out of China that have these terrible emission issues. I don't understand why they can't fix this. Potentially they could sell a lot more radios. Now another gadget that I recently got was the Bluetooth speaker mic made by Adbury. Now it's pretty good and it does the job, even though the transmitted audio is extremely loud. Now it didn't really warrant a video on its own, so I thought I'd show it in this video connected up to the UV25. And here's what it sounds like. QZM0DQW testing the audio on the Adbury Bluetooth speaker microphone. This is M0DQW. Uh, Checking the audio on the Abreed's Bluetooth speaker microphone. Uh, zero DQW over. Now, sorry, this whole video is a rather short and basic overview of the Bayer Fang UV25, but when I realise that the spurious emissions are illegal on any radio, I kind of lose interest in it and don't really want to go into too much detail because I just can't recommend it. So, maybe wondering why I made this video? Well, because it's really to help you guys out. If you're looking at this radio online and you think to yourself you might want to buy it, at least by watching this video, you're going to know on the two meter bands you're going to be transmitting elsewhere at almost just as much power, which essentially means it's illegal in most countries. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully, next time we'll find another radio which actually has a clean output. Who knows? Pigs might fly. Catch you later, guys. Until the next one. Thank you.